right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. data for the board nice to see that Jason loves his work I can't get over what Talia did to her father's body back there good riddance going in a Lazarus pit wants as hell who knows what a thousand dunk would have done to him so you think it really was a show of mercy oh she was putting on a show all right but I doubt it was mercy Considering what she felt about Bruce, she probably took it personally when he killed him. Am I supposed to start linking things together in this, or... This is just here for display or something, or something I have to check every now and then. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. 
I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. I get that way sometimes, too. You were always looking out for Bruce. We both were. It's hard to imagine a Robin without a Batman. But I guess it's up to me to figure that out. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. Alright, so we're back out here doing some more patrols. I guess we just have to do some, uh, like it says here, premeditated crimes. Help resolve some of those to progress in the story a bit. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I can only track one at a time. Well, let's go see what we got. How did I get back on the ground? I guess I'm still moving around even when I'm on the the uh, pause menu. Damn. The bullets don't seem to do much, though. Oh, cool. I make holograms. That's a nice trick. I can't really use that to go back into hiding, though, can I? They'll give me some kind of way that I can disable their guns, too. I would use the bat cycle to get around, but knowing me, I might end up driving like right into a crime scene, and that probably wouldn't be the smartest idea if I'm going to be, you know, stealthy about it. Okay, that wasn't my best idea. Don't use stealth attacks unless I know I'm not being seen by anyone. I can still finish it, but it looks like I can still take damage when I get hit.
So exactly how many crimes do I have to solve before we move on? Well, whatever. I need to work on my combat training anyway. So I got to use a lot more stealth on this one. music too. No wonder they can't tell if I'm sneaking around. They probably can't even hear me. that when I was out playing a little free roaming before. Apparently, y'all, when you solve a crime here, you gotta get as far away from the area as you can, because apparently the cops will show up and they don't like seeing you around. Alright, so where are we heading to next? Witness under attack? That just sounds like a random beatdown or something. If I'm this far away from the scene, if that person really is getting beat up, he's probably not waking up at this point. It does take me a minute to get across town to these areas. Officers needed near Sixth and Bar. We have reports of gang activity. She took most of that than I did. And eh, never mind. I noticed that door has a health bar, so obviously I gotta keep an eye on that thing. So 
so I guess the person could wait until I got there. Damn, dude. first. Alright, I'm getting tired of this guy shooting me. Man, do I have any concussion grenades or something? Maybe I can use to slow down their movements. Trying my best to dodge these bullets because they are driving me nuts with that. Ah, damn it! Hey, thanks. You took that guy out for me. Now. Using momentum abilities, I don't even have that many yet. I think the only one I have is that uh, hologram thing. It's not really an ability, though. I can't defeat anyone with it. Time to go. Well, as you guys saw, I still need a lot of practice with combat because getting shot is apparently part of my usual routine. I'm pretty sure I can't really avoid that sometimes, but I know there are some players out there that are already experts at not taking damage. But a little practice, and I'm pretty sure I'll get up there sooner or later. I forgot, I haven't checked out any suit upgrades yet. Can I change them right on the spot? Or... Oh wait, do I already have these? Or do I have to craft them already? No, oh, no, I gotta make these. Oh, okay, I have to go back to the belfry to put it on. I don't know if I have to have a collection or what, I don't know. But... Either way, I kind of like the one with the jacket, though. Oh, good. I can make a new bow staff, too. No, playing games like any kind of uh, thing that requires me to craft all my weapons and whatnot, sometimes the highest level one isn't always the best. Some of them have better perks on lower levels, but... Oh, 
Oh, I use a slingshot. They got Red Hood with guns. One of them uses darts. The other one uses batter rings, but I use a slingshot. Well, I guess it all depends on what kind of ammunition I use. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'll try a transmog for a while. Where'd the victim go? Did he just run off? That's probably for the best anyway. Usually you have those ones that like to stick around and they end up getting hit in the crossfire. And then somehow that's my fault. I forgot what game it was, but there was one that did that. Tell me twice, I am not getting shot by the cops. I tried fighting some before when I was free roaming, and yeah, they don't take too much damage, so I'm not gonna get caught up with that whole thing. So yeah, you can knock them out with these uh, ranged weapons too. They just need to do a little more damage, which I'm sure I'll upgrade new ones later. Must be that good. I solved every crime in the area. Oh, there's a new one. Let's go to this one.
Crime scene investigation. Well, let's see what happened to this poor character. sure if this is useful. Well, at least now we know what team did this. Which one of these bands can tell me where to find these people? Okay, not that. I thought I had to combine clues again, but I guess not. I guess all we needed was just their logo tag or whatever. Oops. Okay, that was a dumb move. Alright, let's try that again. Undetected in a situation like this. And plus, I think this stuff is timed, so I don't have time to sit there and waste. No disregard that. I keep pressing the wrong button. 
challenge at all. Sorry for all the bruises. Now I noticed they kept going back and forth towards the truck, like some of them were just not even trying to fight. So I'm guessing that was the idea, was to keep them away from it. But how was I supposed to remain undetected and do that? Because I'm guessing once they took everything they needed, they were just going to run off anyway. And then I'd probably have to chase them down with the bat cycle. Which, now that I think about it, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So that's where I find the guy who murdered that. Was it a prison guard or security guard? Whatever. Let's go track down a killer. So they got underground hideouts too. Let's try not to jump right in and see how many people I can take down without being seen. Alright, I'll get better with practice. I'm guessing they didn't hear everything that went on over there. Well, at least that guard's been avenged. Could have done better with my stealth, though. But I think they said since Robin specializes in stealth tactics, I have to upgrade all those abilities first. So, we'll see what we can do later on. In the meantime, I think I'll do a few more, and then I'm heading back to the Belfry because I want to change my costume. Oh wow, I'll make a note of that for later. 
Next time I can take a few of them out with a few explosions. I wonder if they get distraction, um, distraction items too. Like I think uh, Batman had like batter rings that can actually send out a sound that makes them makes people come to him. Some way to lure them in. I saw something up here. What the heck was that? What the world is this? A battering? Probably a collectible. Just what I was looking for. Well, at least now I know what I'm going to be doing when I'm not recording. Beating the hell out of enemies and collecting batterings. Kirk Langstrom was murdered. Tell me what you know. We didn't have any reason to kill him, let alone pin him to a wall. He paid us well to take part in his medical trials. Oh, but, but don't tell my boss. Or she'll have my skin. That's what I thought. I was sitting here beating people up this whole time. I completely forgot to interrogate them. Ooh. And I get loot. Okay, I'm pretty sure they mentioned how I'm supposed to be able to tell which ones to interrogate. I gotta figure that out. I forgot what the control was for that. Or how I can tell them apart. Next. 
Okay. I could have sworn there was two of them. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm still saying there's a crime here, so yeah, one of them must be somewhere. I forgot what direction he ran off to. me Hey, let's dance, hero. Okay. Let's progress a little further and see what else we got to do.